Hello and welcome to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network special interview. I am your host, Lewis Carlin. Very excited today because joining me is a returning guest. Love it when he's always on the show. He's an all Japan pro wrestling star. Very happy to welcome back Cyrus the Destroyer. Cyrus, welcome back, my friend. I appreciate you having me back. Yeah, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. So I got to get right into this, man. Last night, Yuma Yagi becomes the the new Triple Crown champion, defeats Yuji Nagata. You hold a victory over Yuma Yagi at Champion Carnival 2023. Do you feel you deserve a shot at that title when you go back to Old Japan Pro Wrestling? Yeah, for sure. I feel like I definitely deserve a shot. Um, he and I, we had a really good match in Osaka, and uh, I think... Uh, it deserves to be seen again. Absolutely, absolutely. You definitely uh, deserve another shot. Not another shot. You deserve a shot at the uh, Triple Crown Champion. So what message do you have for Yuma Yagi? I know he's celebrating uh, his first title reign, first time winning the old Japan Pro Wrestling Triple Crown Champion. What's your message for Yuma Yagi when, when, uh, before you head back to old Japan Pro Wrestling? <laughs> well, I would say, like, when I'm coming back, typically I tell people to watch their back. But, okay. you know, I'd dr- I let him know that I'm going to come at him face to face because I want that title. Okay. All right, man. So that's, that's your goal then. Your goal, uh, your old Japan Pro Wrestling goal is to win the, uh, the Triple Crown Championship then. Yeah, for sure. Oh, okay, man. Okay. Any any word on when you might be headed back to old Japan Pro Wrestling? Uh, not yet. We, we, dates haven't been confirmed yet. So. Okay. Just I'm waiting sure. on it. All right, man. I'm sure you're going to be back uh, very, very soon. Uh, so let's go back to uh, Champion Carnival uh, 2023, uh, prestigious tournament you were involved. What was the experience like being in that tournament? It was, it was crazy. You know, I got to, uh, got to work a lot of legends in that tournament, um, have a lot of fun with their tournament style. You know, that was something new and unique on a point system. So I thought that was uh, pretty cool. Yeah, I noticed when um before the tour- before the tournament actually started when they had all the wrestlers come out uh to stand in the ring. You looked really really proud. Am I right? You were really really proud to be in that ring with the with with the talent that were that was in there for that tournament? Yeah. Yeah, I was extremely I was extremely proud to be in there uh with all those guys. Uh, you know, it's a surreal feeling and you know, anytime that I'm in Cork and Hall and it's a ceremony, it's just some even there's something even better about it. Yeah, absolutely. And I know you, uh, I think you either on Facebook or Twitter, uh, you tweeted out or you posted uh, how you felt about wrestling at Cork and Hall. What's it, what, what, um, what makes Cork and Hall different from, from other um, venues? Uh, what I know there's a lot of uh, wrestlers have gone through there, like Andre the Giant, Antonio Inoki, Tatsumi Fujinami. But what is it about that place that, that, that makes it so special? I mean, I would say for like, you know, people of faith and everything, how the how the Temple of God, you know, church is so special to them. That's what Cork and Hall is to wrestling all over the world. I, I think once you step in there, that's just it's it's a golden place. And yeah. the the weird emotions that, that you feel that come over you when you're in that place knowing like people like the likes of Bruiser Brody, Abdullah, yeah, all them coming through the stands, everything. You know, there were many a times that that happened. You know, watching Muda, great Muda there. Yeah, of course. Ultimo Dragon, I mean. <laughs> yeah, this goes on and just, on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Can you feel the spirit of like Andre the Giant or, or Antonio Inoki or, or one of them in I, there? You know, I, I tell people it's, it's the weirdest feeling because – it, it's a it's a feeling of like you can't believe that you're standing in there and, and you're performing yeah. like in that in that in the in the hall and you're just like man I yeah, I don't know it's, it's just weird things that come over you yeah that's my my uh before I die my uh my dream is to go to a live card doesn't matter the promotion hopefully it's either old japan new japan hopefully it's one of them but i want to see a live show in cork and hall that's that's my goal before i die and and hopefully you'll be on the card uh when, when i finally get there yeah i hope i am uh like i said before it's just something real and, you know this past time everything's opened back up in japan so this time even when the champions carnival we had a lot more uh foreign travelers coming in and watching yeah. the carnival so that was yeah. really cool too yeah, maybe we could fly to Japan together one time. And... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be, that'd be great. 
<laughs> be great. I'm flying. No, nobody will mess with me. I'm I'm with I'm with Cyrus the Destroyer. <laughs> They'll give so, us three seats. So well, I'll have yeah. two. <laughs> okay. I might need two. We might need four seats actually. Yeah. Um, so um, oh, because I, I would take up two actually as well. Uh, so um, my favorite match of the tournament: you against Satoshi Kojima. Yes. Was that your favorite, or did you have a favorite match? I I think that was my favorite. Uh, that match was every bit of amazing. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, I absolutely loved. I mean, uh, I didn't mean to cut you off there, but uh, yeah. I I want to say uh, he, you know, I wanted you to win, but Satoshi Kojima was the first person in the tournament that got a convincing victory over you. I mean. Kento Miyahara, T Hawk, they kind of rolled you up really quick and they kind of like stole a victory. But that was the, yeah. the that was the first uh, convincing victory uh somebody had over you in the tournament. And um I was I was pulling for you so hard. I, I'm a little upset at you because you didn't pull you didn't do the moonsault at all uh during the the, <laughs> the, the the carnival. But yeah, that was definitely my favorite match. And I, I absolutely love it. I've watched it a number of times. Yeah, um, I love that match too. I think uh, the storytelling was amazing in that match. Yeah, what was it like? You're standing across the ring, and you're like, "You must be holy crap!" My opponent today is Satoshi Kojima. You know, it, <laughs> it, it's uh, you must have been. Uh, what were you? Were you? Were you nervous? Well, what, what was? Uh, what were you feeling when you were looking across the ring and seeing Kojima? Yeah, you know, it's funny you ask about nerves because I, I tell everyone, of course, I'm, I'm nervous every time I get in the ring. Uh, across from any anybody but it's it's a good feeling of nerves and I, i've told everyone for a long time now if it ever gets to the point where i'm not nervous um when i get in the ring then i'm getting out of it because my heart's not in it anymore okay you know, and then you had the the eight-man tag match where you're looking across the ring and and <laughs> two two of the guy two of the two of your opponents on the opposite side kojima and yuji nagata so that must have been yeah. it. Must have been extra nervous when you saw both of them. Yeah, yeah. Now that that was uh, that was crazy too, and uh, you know, and I was in a huge arena there. Um, yeah, and it was it was just uh, it was a real feeling like you know I'm sharing the ring with these guys, and it's going to be amazing. Yeah, and it was amazing. Absolutely, a terrific, terrific match. Uh, so, what are your thoughts on uh, June and Ray Saito? I don't like them. I love that tag team. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 this is going to lead into another question, but that's what I'm going to ask. That's why I'm asking uh, your thoughts on them. Yeah, I think uh, I think they're really good. Um, we know they're younger uh, in the business, but I think that they're just making strides in everything that they're doing. Yeah, and I agree. I think they're getting better and better and better with each match. Uh, with with that said, Suwama no longer in Voodoo Murders. Uh, there's an open spot. Have you had any thoughts about, um, hey, I, I'd like to step in and fill the void in, in Voodoo Murders if the opportunity should arise? Yeah, I, th I think I would. I think I would enjoy uh, going into Voodoo Murders. I think that would be uh, I'd definitely be a big team. Yeah, I think you <laughs> you standing against the Saito brothers in a six man tag team match. My goodness, you you guys would go undefeated. Nobody would beat you guys. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think that would be a uh, a, a really big uh, a real big deal, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think I think you you would be perfect in that faction, and hopefully, uh, when you go back, and hopefully you're going back soon. Hopefully that that uh, that happens. So I'll, I'll keep my fingers crossed. I think you'll be great in that faction. I know last time you were on, I asked you about a potential contract. Was there any more talk this time about a potential contract with Lord Japan Pro Wrestling? Are you allowed to talk about that, or is that uh, something uh, you can't talk about? I, I'm really not allowed to talk about the business aspect okay. of okay. things. So. Okay, we will, uh, we will move on to the next question then. Uh, so you actually teamed with uh, Black. I, I always hope I, I always think I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Black Mensure. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, Minz Minzeray. Minzeray, yes. Black Minzeray, uh, during Champion Carnival 2023. Uh, I thought the two of you had excellent chemistry. And I know we spoke about it um, um, off the record, and then we both agreed. Are we going to see you two um, teaming up again in the future? You know, if, if the opportunity presents itself, uh, I think it'd be fun. I, You know, I enjoyed using him as a weapon. So <laughs> I had a lot of fun <laughs> with it. So. <laughs> It, that, that does he actually have actual sushi <laughs> on top of his head, or or is it is that fake? Can you get? 
Uh, it, it's fake. It, it's fake. And it's a, I know. I'm yeah. just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'd be great if it was actual sushi. You could take a little snack during the match. And... I know. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> yeah, he's he, he's over. He's over with the crowd. Um, I think though. I think I would love to see you two teaming up again. Hopefully, we'll see that again in the future. Uh, but if the opportunity should arise that you get an op- opportunity to cha- opportunity to challenge for the All Japan. Uh, world tag team titles held by Yuma Iyaki and Kento Miyahara. Would you want Black uh, Minsure or would you want Suji uh, Suji Ishikawa as your as your partner? I think I'd man. I think I'd I would honestly take either one of them. Okay. So all right. Uh, you know, if if we're going in for power and and all that, and then uh, I would take Ishikawa, and then if we're going in with a little bit of speed and a little bit of, uh, I, th- I think the word's deception. Uh, <laughs> I would use uh, Black Men's Array then because, okay. you know, he's, he's smart in those areas of being very yeah. tricky. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, personally, I would rather you team with Ishikawa. That that would be my choice. Uh, but uh, either t- either either tag team, I think, um, would be a great opponent for Miyahara and Ayagi if they're still the champions when, um, when you head back. Uh, so you, you get comparisons to Big Van Vader. How do you feel about people making that comparison? You know, I, I'm honored by it, honestly. Every time uh, people tell me that I remind them of him, uh, of him and Bam Bam, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. A- anytime I get complimented of that, that means I'm doing my job right. Because, you know, I, it's like I tell everyone, it ain't that I went in and copied everything I took things from each one of those guys like all wrestlers do and i was like i'm going to incorporate it and make it my own so and that's what i did so i you know it's a very good feeling when people say that i remind them of legends yeah man and you definitely uh you definitely remind me of uh, van vader and you mentioned bam bam bigelow i never even thought about bam bam bigelow bam bam bigelow but yeah i do i definitely see uh you being compared to him that really makes sense um I still want to see that moonsault, man. I'm still frustrated about that. <laughs> I'm still frustrated about the moonsault. When you were climbing up the ring, you, I think you climbed up the, the top rope um, a few times against Kojima. And I'm like, all right, here it comes. Here it comes. And it didn't happen. And I'm right. Like, oh, yeah. man. I said, next time he's on the show, I'm going to let him know how, how upset I was. Uh, but I'm sure I'm sure we'll get it next time. We'll sure we'll get it next time. <laughs> Uh, so I didn't know that you appeared for another um, uh, promotion in Japan, uh, Vamo Star, I, I believe. I hope I yeah. got that right. Uh, so how did that appearance come about? Uh, they contacted All Japan, and okay. uh, they were asking um, uh, one of the guys I know with Vamo Star is Andy Wu, and he really wanted me to come and, and do that show. So it just so happened that the, the same day we were all down there, um, when we were down – Try to remember the name. Uh, anyhow, it just so happened they were having a show early, hours before the next show. So they asked if they could use me, and the company agreed. So they picked me up from a hotel that morning, and we went and done it. Right, and that so was a lot of fun too. Yeah, no, I, I was, I've been looking for the match. I don't know if it's on YouTube or not, but uh, do you need permission? You so you needed permission from All Japan Pro Wrestling to to do that, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, uh, so all together again um, came and went. All together again, uh, two uh, came and went. A great, great show. Uh, when you're watching, I'm not sure if you watch the show, but if you were watching the show, are you thinking to yourself, "Man, I wish I was a part of this"? Do what now? I'm sorry, it cut all, out on. Oh, all uh, they had um, all together again. Uh, New Japan yeah. Pro All Japan. Uh, oh, I'm not yeah. sure. Did you watch the show? Did you see that? Show? No, I, I I didn't get to see it. Okay, yet. I haven't been able to see it yet. Well, when you when been you been real about, busy, but when you hear about something like that, do you think to yourself, "Man, I wish I was a part of that. I wish I was a part of yeah. that show." Yeah, I mean that, that's pretty amazing. Like, I mean, you got the the top three major companies in Japan coming together and yeah, and doing that. It's that's uh that's really cool. You have an, like, it, would you have an opponent in mind from I might have asked you this uh, the last time you were here uh, I just I forgot your answer would there be an opponent that you would have in mind uh, from Pro Wrestling Nova or or New Japan Pro Wrestling that you would uh, like to face maybe uh, you against Tomohiro Ishii would be an absolute banger um, yeah 
Minoru Suzuki. Well, Minoru Suzuki is in All Japan Pro Wrestling. Hope we'll see that uh, match soon as well. Uh, but any any specific opponents you uh, would think about? I'd love to step in the ring with. Man, I, I you know I would think with Noah it would be um, uh, Jake Lee or okay, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, of course because I never got that chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or or if I could um, if he if he did come out of retirement for one more match it would be Nozawa. So okay, was, yeah, 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 yeah. I always had a dream of working him, but you know. <laughs> so that's uh, that's that's one of your opponents for uh, all together, um, all together again. Uh, so actually, uh, you, you mentioned dream opponents. I actually had a question. Um, Ethan Black, a friend of mine, big big fan. Um, and he wanted to know if you could ask this question. So this is from Ethan Black, uh, and I know you just mentioned one, uh, but he wanted to know who your dream opponents are. Man. <laughs> you just Let mentioned this hour, so that this hour would yeah. be one. So, uh, do you have any yeah. other dream opponents? Probably, would probably be um, Ultimo Dragon. Okay, if we're basically going by Japan, Ultimo Dragon, great Muda. You know, um, if he wasn't retired, that would be just something phenomenal to be across the room yeah. from him yeah. as well. So, um, those are the real big ones there. The, because you know, I, I study the old stuff, and I, and that's what I enjoy so much. I I have a dream match for you. I have a dream okay. match. Okay. Okay. Cyrus the Destroyer versus Andre the Giant. How does that match go down? <laughs> <laughs> Man, and, and could you body slam Andre the Giant if he lets yeah. you? If he lets you? If he lets you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th I think I could. I okay. mean. Heck, the biggest guy I've ever Samoan dropped was about five fifty. Oh wow! So okay. I, I got him on my shoulders. <laughs> okay, then uh, you'd be so, able to you'd be able to slam. So how would that match go down? Do you think? Uh, you think um, you would get a you would steal a victory over Andre? Or you think he would give you a headbutt, uh, uh, elbow drop, and then get the one two three on you? I don't know. You know, if if it was in Cork and Hall. I... I don't think I could let him beat me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would have to pull every trick out of the bag and maybe hit him with six moon salts. Oh just, yeah, uh... <laughs> you might have to hit seven. You might have to hit seven yeah. on him. I, I would do it. I would that do would it. that <laughs> would that would make me very happy if I saw seven <laughs> straight moon salts from you. On the... so, uh... I, I, if I ever did that, after that, I would retire the moon salt because it would... <laughs> I'd be like I've gave it everything. <laughs> Do you think I know? I know with Andre the Giant, he either liked you or he hated you. Do you think? He, I think he yeah. would. I think he would have liked you. I think he would have liked I, you. I think <laughs> so too. Like uh, I think um, I think Andre had an old soul, and you know I get told all the time that I have an old soul. Like I, it, it's funny, I get along with older people. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm easier to talk to. Like with older people, stuff like that. Are you so. referring to me as being? Uh, no, I'm, 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 just, no. I'm, kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I thought I saw you like uh, older people. And I thought you th thought I saw you wink or something. Like, uh, I'm talking about you. Like, no, uh, no, and I, I understand. I can see you. You, you guys have the match, and you, you guys will be playing cards in the back uh, afterwards. Yep. Um, so Southern Honor Wrestling, Southern Honor Res uh, Wrestling, I was reading that you beat somebody by the name of Cornelius Pepperbottom, which is a very, very interesting name. Was it 13 seconds you beat him? Was that a 13 yeah. second match? So yeah, who, who is who is this Cornelius Pepperbottom? I've never heard of him before. Uh, I'm sure he's a up and comer. Uh, and, and why only 13 seconds? Is he that, is he that uh, bad or is he just, is he a manager or why was it 13 seconds? <laughs> I, I've been having a feud with this uh, with a group out of Southern Honor for a little while, um, and it was like with Bra Bross Cannon and and all them, and it just uh, it, it's gotten heated enough where I, you know, while I was gone from gone to Japan and all that, they said they ran me off, of course, and so we had a discussion. I had a discussion with Jake the Snake that that does the matches, puts together the matches and stuff. And okay. he told me if if uh, I beat one of them, well, we could do a three-on-three. Three, and if I didn't, it would be a three-on-one. So he tried to jump me from behind. <laughs> okay. And so. they got beat 13 seconds. No, did you? Yeah. Uh, 
he got he got he got hit with a new move that I came up with. So okay. I haven't I haven't thought of the name of it yet, but uh it's on my social medias and stuff. If you get oh. on it, you can see it. I it's, gotta uh, check it out. I didn't know there was a new move and I'm excited. I yeah. wanna check it out when I'm when I'm yeah. when I'm we're finishing. I'm definitely gonna check it out, man. Uh so that the Cornelius, that's an interesting name. Cornelius Pepperbottom. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Was he a manager or is he a wrestler? I'm sorry. No, he's a wrestler. He, a, that, he that's was, a manager's name, though. But uh, yeah, he's more and more of uh, I guess ultra cruiser weight. Okay, if you'd say he's like a flyweight. So okay. I don't understand why they chose him to go against me. Like I guess they thought maybe he could just jump jump me from the top rope, but okay. they don't realize like I catch people for a living. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work out for Mr. Pepperbottom there. No, sir. Uh, so on, uh, also June 30th, um, a few days ago, you faced Torque for uh, RCW. Um, not sure how that match went, so I'll let you explain how, how did that match go and did you get the victory over Torque? Actually, that match got canceled. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. that show got that show got canceled due to unseen circumstances. So okay. Yeah, so maybe in the future, you know, I'll meet. And, you know, a lot of people don't realize that is uh, years ago when I was new to the business, uh, Torque and I ran a whole series and it lasted for about six months. It was like about okay. a six month storyline. Okay. And so it would be kind of rekindling it. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry. Hopefully the match will take place in the future. Uh, I want to yeah. go back to Japan for a second. I noticed on Twitter uh, when you were in Japan, you were posting a lot of food pics, which looked absolutely fantastic. Uh, so yeah. I'm thinking you, you ate well when you were in Japan. Always. Always eat well. Very okay. well. Uh <laughs> you have a favorite spot that you that you guys go to? or? Yeah. You know, it's so funny. People will always take me to new spots. So, okay. And... So far, everywhere I've been, I've loved every bit of it. Yeah, man, I was like, wow. I'm like, one day eating. I I can't remember what the, what the food was, but yeah, I think there was a picture of you with a giant um grill with a uh, beef and peppers, and just the side of your face was just looking, looking. At, was that in Japan as well, or was that? <laughs> no, no, that okay. that was me cooking. That that's okay. what I'm cooking. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that, that, was, that would be. That would be my back porch. <laughs> I was like, I was like, well, I was like, I was, I was wishing that I was at the exact spot that you were when you put that picture up. Uh, but that, yeah, that looked uh, great stuff. But um, so you seem like you have a great time in New Japan. Uh, okay. Is 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 there one guy or a group of guys that that you that you hang with um, when you're in Japan? Yeah, yeah, there there is. Um, you know, I I, re I hang out with Rising Hayato a lot. Okay, and stuff. Uh, he's a really cool guy. I like him. Uh, the Sato brothers, I go and do some things with them. Um, and then, uh, you know, I have certain friends there that, that okay. come pick me up at the dojo. And That's great. They like to take me out. So, All right, cool. So uh, anything else going on since you returned from Japan? Any other matches coming up? And I've got, <laughs> um, I've got North Carolina coming up soon. Then I've also got Louisiana. So okay, they haven't released the match card yet, so I don't know who I'm facing yet. But okay. you know, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, man, awesome. And in closing, before we wrap this up, and I'll let you plug whatever you want to plug. Uh, last uh, last message for Yuma Ayagi: are, are are you coming for his title? Uh, I'm looking for a headline here. Uh, are you coming for Yuma Ayagi in the uh, Triple Crown Championship? So Yuma Ayagi, when I get back to Japan, I am coming for that title. All right, so there we go. That's there's there's <laughs> our headline right there. Man, headline. All right, awesome. So, is there anything you want to plug? I, I have a lot of pictures back here. How do how do I get a picture of uh, of Cyrus, the uh, signed picture of Cyrus to to put back here? Just uh, send me your address, and I'll okay. I'll mail you one out. So, all right, yeah, not cool. that hard. <laughs> all right, yeah. I, I did. I ask you this the last time as well, and I just forgot to send it. I think I might have. I'm yeah, might have, but I mean, heck, it's been so long since we talked. Yeah, it's so. been a, it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> okay, so I'll do that. I'll, I'll send you send you my address and uh, get okay. that picture. I'll put it up. I'll I'll, I'll take uh, I'll take Moose down and I'll put up uh, I'll put up Cyrus. That would be a great <laughs> match, by the way. You against Moose one on one. That would be a fantastic uh, match. We've actually worked each other a few times. In oh singles. wow! Yeah, I didn't know out that. Of the Car Carolina and stuff like that. Yeah, so. We did one where it was called Wrestling for a Cause, and okay. uh, he and I worked each other. So we oh, did wow. a couple. Are, yeah. are they are they available on YouTube? Because I did not know that. Now, uh, now, now I desperately want to see that. 
I think if you search, uh, I think it was Seek to Destroy Cancer 2. Okay. And I think, I, I'm pretty sure we did it there and okay. had a match. I will so. definitely, I'll definitely check it out. Uh, so anything, uh, anything you want to plug? Anything else you want to plug uh, before you go? Man, like, you know, just anybody that wants to follow me, I'm mainly on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, you can do it, follow me at, at the Monster Cyrus. All right, that's fantastic, on both. So. Fantastic, fantastic, man, Cyrus, man, it was absolute pleasure speaking to you again today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I'm glad we finally got together. Um, and uh, I, I like to think that you're going to be a regular guest going forward. Um, oh yeah, yeah, awesome, sure. awesome, man, sweet. So, um, good luck um, with uh, your upcoming matches. Hopefully, we're going to see you back in Japan real soon. And Yuma Ayagi, I'm going to look at you right now. Watch out because this man's coming for you. He's coming for that title. All right. So um, thank you so much again and um, enjoy the rest of your day, my friend. Yeah. Thanks for having me. All right. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.